Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films, and this is kind of weird, isn't it? Uh, we're doing a third video this week, um, which is more than I normally do in a week. Um, yeah, so we're doing a reaction to the first trailer to Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. I uh, see they have a Pokemon thing going on here, being the first movie. Hopefully it'll be more than friggin' Doug's first movie. Anyway, probably no one gets that, but anyway. Um, yeah, I don't really remember un Captain Underpants from my childhood. I just, I remember my brother read it as, when he was a kid, and it just always sounded funny. So, yeah, I'm curious to see what the movie is like. Um, adjusting my, uh, monitor. Alright, cool. So, yeah. Not too much else to say about this, so let's give it a watch. Hitting play in three, two, one, now. Hi, I'm Kevin Hart. And I'm Ed Helms. Check out this sneak peek of our new movie, DreamWorks Captain Underpants. It's the story of a superhero. I'll take that back, because he's barely a superhero. He's absolutely a superhero, no, Captain no, Underpants. Ed, Ed, he doesn't have x-ray vision. He can't even climb a tree. Wearing a cape does not make him a superhero. Yes, it does. You know, I'm not going to argue. Why don't you guys decide for yourselves by watching Sorry, this is my volume. Just turn it works, Captain Under. The superhero. It's not a super superhero. Super, total superhero. Tomato, tomato. What is happening right now? I don't know. Let's try and leave and see what happens. <gasps> wow, that's an expensive door. Mm hmm From the studio of right. Goku Shrek, Kung Fu Panda, and Madagascar. Hi! I'm George Beard, and this is my best friend Harold Hutchins. We just make comics and try to make each other laugh. And this old guy is Mr. Crook. George Harold! He's the worst principal in the world. Ever since you attended this school, you've been responsible for one prank after another. <laughs> Some of those must have okay. been really hard to pull off. Like that tiger? Oh, that tiger was crazy. Ah! I told you I would get you one day. I'm going to have you two placed in separate classes. We're going to annihilate your friendship. <laughs> George, do something. Put the pin down, Mr. Crop, or we'll hypnotize you. <laughs> Stop oh, oh. So they actually you hypnotize him you to be Captain of the command. <gasps> you are now the, the amazing Captain of the Pants. La la la. I honestly didn't think that would happen. This summer. Come, sidekick! We gotta stop him! Why? It's a good thing he's a cartoon. Otherwise, that might have actually hurt. Their greatest creation. I'm not sure about Kevin Hart as a voice actor, but. It's not bad or anything, it's just a little obvious. Wow, he is super dumb. He's now their biggest problem. Stand down, you monster! Based on the worldwide phenomenon. Yeah. Hiya, class. I'm your cool little teacher. Not some scary guy with a secret evil agenda. <laughs> Guys, I totally got this. Yeah, totally he's got it. Kevin Hart, Ed Helms, Thomas Middleditch, Nick Kroll. When it's cut all together like that, you really get a sense of the scope. DreamWorks, Captain Underpants. Poor soul, you're trapped in some sort of invisible box-like prison. Is it okay that I'm kind of loving this? Yes and no. I will set you free. Oh, Ooh, but mostly yes. Alright then. Well, that was the trailer. That was interesting to say the least. Now, with this premise that they hypnotize him to become Captain Underpants... How do you do a sequel then? Because you're already inviting sequels in by calling this the first epic movie. Now granted they didn't say that. They just said DreamWorks Captain Underpants. But they didn't say the first epic movie. Even though that's the full title. So it makes me wonder, well, how would you do sequels? Does he keep getting accidentally hypnotized? Or maybe at the end of this movie he's going to be like, no, I prefer being Captain Underpants. And I shall go and be the heroic... Captain Underpants for the rest of my life. It's like, what are they going to do here? Other than that, it does look kind of interesting. Um, kind of like I said in the reaction, I'm not 
quite sure on Kevin Hart as a voice actor. Um, just because his voice is a little obvious here. Like, he's not, he's not doing anything to his voice, um, to play this child. Um, but it works. It'll probably still work, um, in the movie. And Ed Helms, I don't know if I've really watched too much Ed Helms movies, so I don't know, you know, if he's generally funny. I think he's a comedian, but I don't know how funny he can be or if he's been a voice actor before, but he seemed fine, and I couldn't really tell that it was Ed Helms, but I don't really have a frame of reference on what his voice is. So, yeah, but it looks interesting, it looks funny, um... And that's pretty much it. So, end cards are popping up right about now. Uh, you can click on any of those. You can follow uh, me on Twitter, at 7th Hour Films. I guess it's maybe over here. I might have just pointed to it. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.